All right, hey guys, it's Jotted Evolution. This is workout number two. Hope you guys are staying, staying safe. All right, hope you're healthy. Hope your families are doing well. We miss seeing you guys here at Evolution. Um, a couple of my trainers, my colleagues gave me a little bit of stick. John, why aren't you recording this at home? You should do it from your home. Well, second story apartment. I'm not sure my neighbor right below me would want me uh, doing lunges over their head. So, hence why I'm here at Evolution, but I digress. I am here to help you with your second workout and to help you to be able to still do things at home. So um, the workout I have today is all things that you can find in your house. All the equipment necessary is stuff that you should already have, hopefully, um, or very uh, easy to get, okay, or get a hold of for maybe a family member or something like that, okay? Um, with the home workouts, really gives us a good chance to go back to uh, body weight, really work on our form, really go back to basics, get a good strong foundation. For people that do squats, lunges here a lot, um, sometimes the tendency is to add a lot of weight on and a lot of reps on, but then the form can get kind of shaky, okay? And so what we want to do now is if we take some of that weight off and we take some of that added resistance off, we can really get back to making sure we're doing every exercise right. Okay, so hopefully this video allows you to kind of see me do some of it. Um, it just gives you an idea of what some of the, what good form would look like so that when you're practicing at home, all right, this helps you and is a, a benefit to you. Um, if you need something to be more difficult, add reps, add sets. This is just a recommendation. Some clients we have can do a little more um, for each exercise. Some clients we have might need to take a few more breaks and maybe do a few less reps. Change it as you need to, okay? That's the great thing about home workouts. There's no set, strict protocol. You can really go about the workout however you want to get the most benefit out of it for you, okay? So that might be different for everybody, all right? Um, so the first thing uh, that we're gonna do, oh, before I keep going, my recommendation for a lot of these exercises are three to four sets, okay? Again, more sets if you want, more reps. The reps, I would say, uh, probably anywhere between 10 and 12 reps. Again, if you need to add more, go ahead and do that. If you need to do less, you can always do less, okay? But that's my general recommendation. Maybe three to four sets, 10 to 12 reps is, is pretty good. And again, if you're doing it, you need to make it a little harder, go ahead and add some more on. A little easier, take a little bit off. All right, so the first thing you need, okay? I'm just gonna do a demonstration of each exercise. Okay, the first one you need is just some floor space, okay? And all we're gonna do right now is we're gonna do a little stretch, but also some works your chest and your shoulders. Okay, we're gonna do a walk out. Okay, so I want you to reach down to your toes like a hamstring stretch, walk out. Okay, get to a push up position. If you need to, okay, you could just walk it back in from here. Okay, that might be difficult for some right there. If you wanna add some difficulty on, walk it out. Okay, hit a little push up at the bottom, walk it back in. Okay, you can also do that push up with the knees down, okay, to take a little pressure off and to modify it as well that way. Okay, so a few different varieties there. Next one, floor space, easiest exercise you can do, but still provides a good challenge is a plank. Okay, elbows right underneath the shoulders and the chest. Okay, hips level with the shoulders. Okay, shouldn't see any of this. Shouldn't see the hips sagging down here. Okay, level, abs tight, glutes tight, hold it. Okay, might be 30 seconds there. Okay, might be 45 seconds, might be two minutes, okay? Might be multiple sets, maybe 30 seconds rest, 30 seconds rest, okay? You could also do side planks, so some variations there, many different planks, a lot of them we've used here at Evolution, so um, again, if you need recommendations for that, let us know, but there's many, many planks that you can do and all you need is just some floor space, okay? Next thing you need is, gonna come over here and grab it real quick, is a chair, okay, chair. We're gonna do dips, hands right at Hips right here on the side, okay? Legs straight out is a little more difficult. This is modified to make it a little easier, okay? But we'll work in the triceps here. I'm gonna go legs straight out, and you're just dropping the hips down 90 degrees with the elbows, okay? Push it back up. Don't get too deep down here, okay? Not great for the shoulders, all right? Not necessary, okay? 90 degrees, and then get all the way up and extend, okay? Next exercise you can do is a single leg squat. We've seen these a lot. We have the bigger boxes here at Evolution. But you can do these with a chair or you can do them at your bed. Okay, whatever is a good level for you. Okay, but all you can do, all you gotta do is one foot raised. Make sure I'm squared up here. One foot raised and just lower yourself down. Sit all the way, break your momentum. Okay, stand up with that foot still in the air. If you need to modify this to make it easier, then just treat it as a negative, okay? So just lower yourself slowly down onto the chair, 
sit, and then you can just stand up with both legs. Okay, so you can do it that way too and kind of do like a negative style training with the single leg squats. Okay? All right. Next piece of equipment you need. All right, is, if I can get it here. There we go. Some books, some big heavy books. All right, I got these textbooks, all right, for my wife. All right, shout out to all the teachers out there teaching from home. All right, she'll like that shout out. We appreciate you. Okay, V sit. I'll show you from the side. V sit. You're balanced, feet up, back is straight. Okay, you're holding it here, abs tight. Now, from here, you can just hold the V sit. We can do twists, we can do oblique twists and go side to side. Okay, so we can do either of those. All right, or we can go feet down, hold the books close, make sure they're touching you, and you can just do sit-ups. If you hold the books out here, you're making it easier, and you're taking the books away from your body. You wanna add that weight onto your torso to make it a little harder, okay? So just hold them nice and close, okay? So you can do sit-ups like that too. All right, next exercise. Let me come over here and grab it again. Some water bottles. Keep drinking our water, right? Okay, water bottles. We can do lat raises with the water bottles. We can do front raises with the water bottles. You're just getting up to about level with your shoulders. Okay, or, you know, again, if you wanna make this more challenging, you can get a couple of gallon jugs. You can go overhead press. Okay, again, you can flip them. You can go bicep curl. Okay, so any of those, all right? But I think lat raise is probably the most widely used one, or like a front raise. Both are good for your deltoids, good for your shoulders, okay? Or you can hold those bottles of water and we can do lunges, step out, push off that front leg, come back, step out, come back. If that's a little difficult, we can go split squat like Patrick did in his video, okay? Hold it out here. Don't get your water bottles down, just drop down, stand back up, okay? With lunges, that weight is back on our heel of our foot, our knee, Never comes past our toe on a lunge, right? So if you see me lunge, the knee is staying behind the toe, and then we push back up, and that pressure's coming off the heel of the front leg. When you're doing a lunge and you're stepping out, that front leg is the one doing the work, and your back leg just stays stationary, okay? Next one we got. Paper plates. Listen, guys, I know the paper plate Paper product struggle is real right now. But if you got paper plates, grab them, all right? First one we're gonna do, reverse lunges, okay? We're here, I'll show you from the side. Drop that foot back, stand back up. The pressure's still coming off the front leg. Pressure's still coming off the front, so you can do reverse lunges. We could grab both of them, okay? We can have a seat. We can do hamstring curls with them. We can put them here, lay back, all right, and we can go out and come in, out and in. Okay, so we can do hand curls, or the last one we can do, we can do mountain climbers. One foot on each, okay, hips up, knee up into the chest, and alternate, alternate. Okay, so we can do mountain climbers as well. Okay, all of those exercises are good ones to do. All you need are a couple of paper plates. Okay, now last one. Big finish, normally when we're here, we like to finish with leg press or leg extension or some kind of big leg exercise. All I'm gonna have you guys do is grab a backpack. Backpack, put those books in there. Put the water bottles in. Throw it over your back. Strap it up tight so it doesn't move around too much. All right, and we're just gonna hit some squats. Squat with them, okay? Chest and the shoulders stay up. My weight is still back towards my heels. My hips are getting pushed out behind me, okay? And we're getting down to 90 degrees. Rule of thumb of the squat is that hip crease should be in line with the knee, okay? So when you get down there, okay, when you're all the way down, get that knee down, okay? Hips back, shoulders up, stand back up. So that's pretty deep. So if you need to, start without the backpack first. Take the weight off. Just go body weight to make sure we got proper form. Okay, then you can always add the backpack on later. You can also hold the backpack. You can do a wall sit with the backpack. Okay, just like that again, 90 degrees. You could also throw it over your back again. Right, you could do lunges with them. You could hold it at the side, like a suitcase. Lunge, that tests your balance a little bit. Okay, 
So many variations. Any questions at all, okay? Feel free to send me an email. Feel free to text me. You can always email Patrick. He's still here um, working every day, okay? So um, all of us trainers are around to answer any questions you guys got. Again, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your day.